Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Hadaful Boyfriend Holiday Star. I'm Camchek Fisco. Come join me for our new feathery adventure. Your Highness, Your Highness, we're back. We're not exactly going into a friend's house, Miss Fisco. Shouldn't you be a little more decorous? Should I? I'm already thinking of the king as a friend, though. You must have an awful lot of friends. His Royal Highness, the King. The King was very scared of the rain. The King cried. I knew it! Don't worry, Your Majesty. The rain's all gone now, so it's okay. Is it truly so? Take a look at... <clears throat> Take a look outside, sir. The King is relieved. The King was afraid the fire would go out. The fire? That must be the light we saw earlier. Thanks to you two, the king's land is now peaceful once more. The king has no more troubles. The king said, will you hear the king's final request? Even though you're out of troubles? The king really wants the planisphere. Mine? No, I was told not to give it away, no matter what. <laughs> Puppy eyes won't help you, your majesty. No means no. The king was very sad. Could you give the king just one star from the plain sphere's face? One of the stars? The stars are represented by gemstone shards. We'd probably pull one out. What do you want to do, Nageki? Even a single star is still part of the planisphere. What do you think, Miss Fisco? Give him one of the crystals. He wouldn't know. I suppose that's true. But the king has been given. But the king has been giving us gems the entire time, so just one would be fine, right? Well, he doesn't know you got the topaz. Give him the topaz. That's reasonable enough. Uh, this is gonna cost us, isn't it? The king asked, "Will you give the king a star from the planisphere?" All right, I will. Pick one. The king said, "The king would like this one here." The king was very grateful. Thank you, guests from far away. You're welcome. I guess we're really done with the king's request now, Nageki. Yes. The night is almost over, Miss Fisco. Let's go outside. So this chapter's almost done. Hmm. Must be the music. It's a very beautiful scenery. You can't tell me this is an Alice Land, Alice in Wonderland. It's a freaking clock right there. Late for a very important date. The abyss of the night sky is a little brighter when we get outside. The sky is so beautiful just before dawn, and I love the air at this time of day. Do you always get up before dawn, Miss Fisco? A hunter has to be awake and ready for the first light before the first light touches the ground. I see. That must be tiring. Dawn. When morning comes, this dream too shall pass. Nageki! I'm really happy we got to have this adventure together, even if it was just for one night. I'll always remember this dream. Really? Cross my heart and dare to die. D okay. I'm glad I got to walk with you too. Thank you. In the real world, Nageki can never leave the school. But one day, one day I want to take him out like this again. There's so much of the earth I wish that I wish you could see. It's the start of a new day, Nageki. And I'll see you at the library soon. Yes. It's dawn. Goodbye, Miss Fisco. Oh, that's kind of sad. Huh? Wait a minute. Where's the sun? What about a dramatic build-up? Hmm, that's odd. Dawn is supposed to come after pre-dawn, isn't it? Whatever are you travelers talking about? Everyone knows midnight comes after pre-dawn. After that, dusk, then midnight again, then pre-dawn, then midnight. Time swings back and forth like a pendulum, after all. What? The sun will not rise. This dream will never end. That's frightening. The day the night slept. Fiend. Oh, okay, so she's trapped in the dream, or did she wake up after that? 
All right, so we've now got this one. Uh, we finished this, and we just got the last one left. So let's see what this bonus chapter is. It said there were supposed to be six of these, but so far we only have the three. Does the last one unlock three, or what's what's the dealio here? So I know we've got this, we've got that, we've got one, at least one more that unlocks. Allegedly two, three that unlock. Then we've got to do the last two radio stations. Short episode, Midnight Attack of the Nightmare. The gathering of brilliant lights shall... The gathering of the brilliant light shall take place in the promised land, in the darkest hour when the eye of heaven closes. Can the crimson fallen angel overcome his trials and arrive in time? So this is about on hell. Yep. The season of ice which freezes the spirit light tree has almost come to an end. The awakening is near. New life shall bud and grow. Those of pure heart may fall victim to servants of darkness. I must take this opportunity to investigate the dark source of Wallenstein's actions. Oh boy, him and Shu again. Here we go. Oh, hello, Higure. Are you here to turn in your supplementary assignment? No. No. It is not yet time. My crimson breast tells me so. Oh. It's due tomorrow. Make sure you finish it in time. Uh, a painful test. Is there no way out? Nope. Uh. Don't worry. If there's anything you're really having trouble with, you can ask when you handed it in. Oh, will you be coming to the observation tonight, Higure? Wait, so this takes place before the episode- What? Okay, that's alright. What? Will there be a gathering of the brilliant light? Yep, that's right. There's a total lunar eclipse tonight. They're opening up the roof tonight so we can all watch. Oh wait, does he pry us out of the dream world? Is that what this is? It will be late, so make sure to dress warmly if you come, okay? My evil scarlet eye reflects a dreadful spectacle. The dead on all sides. No! The frenzied moon was the cause of all of it. We must not repeat this tragedy. The dark tree, Rufa, can wait. I must prepare for the gathering of brilliant light. Is this his place? Holy shit! The Panacea of Blue, Visionana, Lunario Carmine, the legendary Sacred Bow, Holy Slasher. Will I require anything more? Good God, man, he's got his whole arsenal. On nights when the moon is swallowed by darkness by a barrier between the worlds of the surface and that which is hidden behind it, Satelna grows thin. A terrible threat shall descend when the eye of heaven closes. If it is as the Forbidden Epic relates, the name of that threat alone can control the great vastness of darkness. Yoshio! Aren't you going to school to see the moon tonight? Are you eating before you go? I will eat, and then I will go. Come down in 30 minutes and okay! When are you leaving the house? At 11. If I fall asleep, then wake me! Okay! <laughs> that was so normal. What the hell? Thank you, Mom! <laughs> right back to his delusion. Gaze into the dark void of space, oh holy slasher! You and I together shall pierce these accursed midnight heavens! Okay. Ah! Uh, my crimson insides are replete with the silver beings! To think that the nighttime demon known as fatigue would be so hard to conquer! Perhaps it was a mistake to partake of that savory dinner! Before the battle. No, no, not yet. Persevere, oh weak and unreliable eyelids. You're gonna pass the fuck out. <laughs> he kind of looks cute with his eyes closing. He's out like a light. Ah! Nonsense! I am the Crimson Age of of Judica. I shall not be vanquished so easily. That's it, man. Fight it off. Weren't you going? <clears throat> Weren't you going to school, Yoshio? It's past eleven. Yoshio, Yoshio, wake up! <laughs> okay, Yoshio. If you're going to sleep, at least get in your bed. There we go. <laughs> that, wait. Thank you, mom. That was the shortest. Oh. 
Okay, then what the hell was... Right then. Okay, moving on to chapter four, I guess. We all to er the uh uh what you uh uh me be ve u uh what ye I'm believed you why why. Uh, uh, thought I, oh, I, I, not uh, thought I would, thought I might, ought, thought I ought, ye, hmm, w ye, I, you, is, me, please enter your name. Wait, this is just all kinds of fucked up. Would you please enter your name? Uh, apparently we've entered the Twilight Zone. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> At last the day has come. The day of my final victory over you. Issa, so am I. I know you're here tonight. My heart flutters just imagining your ungainly form prostrating itself in fear before my new weapon. Look up at the night sky. The stars, the moon, they all give me their blessing in this, my decisive moment of artistry. Never mind, seems to have clouded over. Huh. Can't the weather try to read the atmosphere at least a little? Come on, you ninnies, the star player has arrived at last. Show a little enthusiasm. of no matter. Nothing can overshadow my day of glory now. Prepare yourself for the end, Isasuma. Well, he did say he was going to come back. Nishikakoji Tori, the artist, the one and only has arrived. Tremble before me, pitiful fools. Wait, no. Give applause for the glory you are about to witness. Tonight, I unveil my... Didn't I just ask for applause? What is this silliness? This is my grand entrance, you must... The hell? Why are the dead birds everywhere? What? What on earth is going on? Ah, good Mr. Editor-in-Chief. I'm afraid we're in the middle of a sexy and gradual process at the moment. Could it wait? Hmm? You two are... Nishikuji Tori, right? As you can see, we're a little busy. We really don't need any more problems right now, so just sit tight and hold it, kiddo. Hmm, actually, I suppose you're not that young anymore. How rude! I still have my youthful vigor. More importantly, what's going on? This is entirely too strange. Could you fill me in a little, please? Would that we could! If any birdie here know, does know what's going on, please speak up! Everyone gathered here to see the total lunar eclipse, and the eclipse started. So far everything is fine, it's just a normal school outing. But then things went wrong. When the last corner of the moon was hidden, everyone here fell asleep. Oh, so everybody was pulled into the dream world, not just us. It wasn't just us manifesting them, they actually got pulled in. Asleep? Their brain activity is normal. They're all experiencing an extended period of REM sleep. REM sleep. So then they're dreaming. It would seem so. What's the problem then? 
You can just wake them up. We can, and that's the problem. REM sleep is when the body sleeps, but the brain remains awake. Normally, you can wake someone experiencing it up quite easily, but... We can slap their faces and shut in their ears all we want, but they don't wake up. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, kill the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everybody.